The various components of a chart are referred to as chart elements. For example, in the chart we're seeing that depicts the data from columns D through H, this column chart has columns. Each of those is considered an element. We have grid lines in the background. That's another kind of element. We have a legend at the bottom. And from time to time, you want to make changes to these. And there are a few different approaches to this. Maybe there's something about the grid lines that you don't like. Maybe they're not as visible, not as prominent. One approach is simply to right-click the item in question. Notice when you slide over a portion of the chart, you'll see a pop-up. For example, right now we're seeing vertical value axis major grid lines. Right-click. And we've got a choice here called format grid lines. We might want to make those lines bigger. So this is one of many different dialog boxes that could appear. Maybe we'll make the width of the lines bigger this way. And as we make these changes, we usually see them reflected immediately in the chart itself. So now the lines are a bit thicker. Does that look pretty good maybe? Maybe, maybe not. You click outside of it or close this dialog box and consider that change. Maybe we don't like a color. We could right click and make changes there. You can see how this could be a make work project if you're not careful. Now, another approach is that when you click a chart, if a chart is selected, you also have to the right a plus icon. When you click the plus that's to the right of a chart when it's selected, you're alerted to the various chart elements in the current chart. The term axes refers to the vertical axis down the left-hand side, sometimes called the y-axis, and the x-axis, the horizontal axis across the bottom. Now, they appear on most charts, but you might want to make some changes to them. Check indicates that they are present, or at least one of them is present. If you click the arrow to the right here, you'll see that both are present. If for some reason you say, I don't need this vertical axis, uncheck it. And what we now don't see in the background, and I think we would want to, let me momentarily click outside of this, we're not seeing any indicator down the left-hand side as to what these lines might mean. So let's say that in that case, that was not a great choice. I'll press Control Z, but it does reflect the idea that you sometimes do want to make changes to this portion of the chart or another portion. Let's click that plus again. Let's take a look at what data labels are. As soon as we slide over this option, we see some numbers on the screen. Let's click the arrow to the right here. We could put those in the center of each column, inside the end, inside the base, and so on. Different choices, whatever looks best. I think we would agree that one's not a great one. We might have some more options here too. So there's a lot of exploring to do. If you simply want to stay with data labels this way, that's fine. Check the box. A data table shows the actual worksheet. Uh, data below this, probably a bit redundant in this case, since our actual data is visible on the screen anyway. Error bars is another way to display data, showing the variation on the endpoints. Grid lines we already have, but we could possibly show more grid lines. If we had less data on the screen, maybe it would make sense. And if the numbers were lower, maybe to show not just major horizontal lines, but also minor ones as well. Now, you probably can't see that very well on the screen right now. I'm going to click outside of it, make the chart larger. And I wouldn't necessarily say that's required here. In fact, it isn't. But it does give us the idea that sometimes putting in subsidiary minor grid lines might be helpful. And you could make those darker if you wanted to, simply by right-clicking on them and going into Format Grid Lines and change the look of those as well, too, by changing the width. Now, again, there's so many options here, so many choices, but the easy entry into them, again, as soon as we close this dialog box, when we select a chart, the plus button to the right alerts us to the various chart elements we have, and then we can proceed from there to make changes as needed.